hi and uh, welcome back to the ultimate iron man series i'm actually recording this uh, after every everything in this episode has been done i uh, was starting editing and realized that i just forgot to start a clip with this you know the intro so rather than just having it start with me uh, on a slayer task which is what the majority of this episode is i figured i'd do a little uh post-mortem is that what that even means i don't know i'm pretty dumb uh, but yeah, this episode is, uh, it's a strange one and, uh, it's very, very significant for the, uh, the, the future of our account. You might even already be able to guess what happens. I haven't figured out how to title this video yet, but I have a general, general idea what it's going to be. Um, I don't want to spoil too much of anything, but, uh, yeah, this is a, this is a weird one. I hope you enjoy this episode. As I said, it's mostly Slayer focused. And uh, I just want to thank everyone who's who's watched the series so far. And I hope you will uh, continue to watch it, even though it's about to uh, change. Not change, but it's about to. It's going to be. It's going to be different. It's not going to be. The, the pace is is uh, is off. I'm struggling to say it, but uh, you'll see why. Uh, in the episode. There it is. 80 range. As I, say, I don't think we got anything from that. Uh, but that is 1,800 total level and almost exactly 60 million total XP. That's pretty uh, pretty interesting that it is lined up like that. But yeah, 1,800 total. Moving up in the world. This is hard clear number three of the day. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is a new blessing. I'm, I'm almost certain that's a new blessing. Uh, and then everything else is just alking. Oh, there it is, 91 strength, first hit. And we are finishing up a nice long Hellhounds task here. Decent bit of XP, although it took forever to get it. But as you can see, we got quite the spoils from this one task. Four hard clues in one task alone. Pretty insane. So I'm going to clean up the inventory a bit, and then we'll get these open. All right, inventory is as clear as it's gonna be, so just get started on this. First one, Alks. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, more Alks. So I need to Alk these now. Two more. Another Alk. Uh, extra black dehyde. And then, do I have enough space for? I should. I should. Okay, one more thing. <laughs> a master. Uh, oh, a stole's actually good. We need that for. Um, a clue, but I'm pretty sure you also need a crozier. That might be the one. I don't know if we can build it right now is the reason I'm saying that. Another task done, and we got two more hard clues, and we managed to finish crystal key, so we'll have that to put at some point. But let's see what we got from this. Bang. Some for the uh, POH. Oh, what is it? Okay, normal. So two. Oh, that's actually, that's for a, uh, a stash unit, I think. Figured I would use the dragon zone to make an amulet of glory and then free up in a looting back space by putting the d med in here so we will have to buy barrows gloves again when we need them but we're doing shamans right now so luckily we uh don't need them at the moment and that's good to have one less space because the herbs are filling our bag up we still have plenty of that's another shaman task done alas no warhammer Let's see, how many? I think we're we going to be over into the 300s, maybe 400 now. How many have I killed? 332 shamans. So, better luck next time. We got the casket from a clue we got right at the end of shamans. So, open it up. Yeah, this is going to be a big level coming up. I hope I don't curse myself by starting to talk here. But once we get this last deviant specter, we are going to have... 80 slayer we didn't even get to see it for a minute that was uh that sucked but uh yeah we've been working on this super long slow dv inspector task I, I think i might block these guys maybe i don't i mean it's all it's points to block and i haven't gotten them that frequently but they're they're really slow and they don't have i mean they have like herbs i've been picking up but like i mean that's like you get one seed drop and that's worth like all the herbs you'll get in one task of these guys anyway and they have no money so uh I don't know if I'll keep up with them. But yes, hopefully now that we're 80, we'll get some uh, some neck reel tasks soon. Maybe get those rune boots and get some actual upgrades. And 
I got another gargoyles task, so I think I decided I'm gonna go ahead and get the automatic gargoyle smasher. Uh, okay, that's a loser with 213 points for skips and stuff, and I like that because it just completely makes gargoyles super AFK, which is great. It's another Slayer task done. Let's get on out of here. Uh, we're getting very close to 250 Slayer tasks, which will be a lot of points. We also, as you're going to see here, are extremely close to magic level. And we also got a hard clue from the uh, task. So let's open that up. All right. Oh, Bandos Wilhelm is actually uh, really good for, I think I mentioned that, I think earlier this episode, about how it could be good to have a full set of that once we get to BGS. So that's going in. And we also are going to have enough alcohols to get the magic levels. So there's 82 magic. Uh, tell the other, that's not important at all. Um, law runes are nice, and we also got a bunch of smithing supplies, so once I finish that off, we will also have a, sp probably have a smithing level, if not, we'll be very close, but the chances are the next thing you'll see is a smithing level. I think this next one, yeah, 75 smithing. I've donned my often neglected graceful outfit, because I've decided it's time to go for an upgrade, and we're gonna need the Artie Hard Diary for that. And I'm in the Arceus Library because I want to get to 65 rune crafting, And I'm very close. I'm at 63, pretty close to 64. So I just need two levels. There it is. 64 rune craft, And this has already taken not quite an hour. Uh, probably like 40, 50 minutes, maybe just around there. Uh, I, I forgot how dull this can be. All right, and this last one turned in will get us 65 rune crafting. We can now craft death runes from pure essence. So we average just about 25 and a half thousand XP an hour. And I was here for just over uh, two hours. because so we got just about 60k XP in total. So not terrible, but definitely one stay. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not it's not great. That's actually really bad for XP rates as far as other things go. But rune crafting in general is just bad. I know it's a meme, but that's how it is. First up, we're gonna craft some death runes. Figured out how to get the most value I could since I had to run through the wilderness for a second to get here. We need to enter our POH from Yunil. There we go. Catch a red salamander. And lastly, first of all, I'm hoping that uh, this is near arty enough for the myth plate. Okay, it is. So we got that, and then the big one. You need to you teach. Okay, you have to work fixing the ancient seal, and you need some serious work doing it. I was going to say it needed like a level or something for that. Your spirits armor. Okay, well there we go. And that's every task in the Arty Hard Diary. And if we just run over to two points, I've completed all the hard tasks in the Arty Diary. Okay, so uh, Arty Cloak 3, which has a plus one prayer bonus. That is pretty much the entire reason I wanted to do this, just for that slight extra bonus one, uh, AFK slaying. The biggest one, of course, 10% increased chance for pickpocketing anywhere across the game and you don't have to have the cape on or equipped it's just it, immediate invisible 10 percent buff to pickpocketing so that's that's pretty huge it's another task done anything and death runes and of course just here for the, the hard clue opening you know what it is more dehyde boots um cool i have been waiting for a while to get a basilisk task so i could try basilisk knights but of course, we get them on Konar where we have to do it in the From Next Slayer dungeon, so... What can you do? Got our first unique superior drop, apparently. Unfortunately, it is the only one that is not even really remotely useful for us, I don't think. The Mist Battle Staff. A big milestone coming up here in a second. Oh, if we get lucky, we might actually get it in, in a kill. Oh, nope, not quite. But 92 strength, our first ever skill. Fire making, of course, doesn't count uh, to get halfway to 99. That's pretty, pretty big. Uh, they get, they go by a lot faster than I thought they would. I think we got 91 this episode. Uh, so, I mean, that just goes to show how much the XP Slayer will get you. 
just finished up that task, and that was our 250th. We got 630 points. I, I knew you were going to get a lot, but I thought it was only going to be like 200 or something like that. So that's that's pretty awesome. I do not regret buying Gargoyle Smasher recently. And we also got to Brimstone Key. Don't often get these because I only do these for every 10 tasks. So you get a Konar task. Uh, but yeah, I think we're about just over two times the drop rate for this. We finally got the Brittle Key. So we can uh, we can do gar our Grotesque Guardians whenever we, uh, whenever we want, which I don't think is going to be that soon. Just after I complain, we get a normal Basilisk task. So we are going to be attempting Basilisk Knights, which I think I need the V shield for that. I don't remember. Maybe actually, I think you remember reading that maybe the mirror shield is better. I don't know. I have to do a bunch of research anyway. Or not a bunch, but a little bit. So uh, we'll got to clean up stuff and then get that going. Well, here we are. Uh, there's a couple. I was going to look at the left room for safe spots because they're they're over here and then right here um, but I think you have to run all the way over here or up here so I didn't want to worry about you know potentially taking damage or risking it uh, if you successfully safe spot them I don't think you need food I don't know if they'll okay so it looks like they don't even attack you until you start attacking them so you just sit here you have to keep protect for magic up um, just because that's, I mean, they'll damage you with that if you don't. I guess maybe you could flick it, but then it's not as AFK. We'll see how fast supplies go. And at some point, they have a special attack that uh, I probably just wait until it shows up to see what happens. Apparently, if you have auto retaliate on, you'll break out of it for free. Or just by, by, by itself, so. There we go. 81 range at the big old Basilisk Knights. I just woke up, and of course, I forgot to keep an eye out for it, but we got uh, 88 hit points. Not bad. Little different, but this is going to be 83 farming. We can now go Zero Trees, but I already boosted for that. We got our first superior, which I'm pretty sure just works the exact same way. There's no special mechanics. So, hopefully we'll get something good from him. This will be our last kill coming up here. The last, last chance for the jaw. Okay, nope, we couldn't couldn't pull it off. We got a dark totem top, which means we'll be able to go fight Skatizo if I can actually pick it up. It has been a long while since I fought Skatizo, so I'm gonna have to remind myself how it's done. Normally I like saving these for the end of the task, but in order to save some inventory space, I think I'll just go ahead and open up this hard clue we got from Greater Demons. Eh, Alks, not too bad. And also like a shark I can use other than cooking my own right now. I guess it's a little bit convenient. Hey, we got it with oh, all of them up at the end. Not too bad at all. Uh, only one ancient shard. Oh, I would have loved to get one more, but 20 Torstal is pretty great. I mean, in terms of value, it's still going to be a minute before we can use Torstal. And we got Basilix right again, so uh, I'm going to try melee this time. Thankfully, I have quite a few less than we did with uh, the first task. I've only gotten like two or three kills, but I, I think range is definitely the best way for us to do it. You still use pretty much exactly the same amount of prayer, plus you have to worry about using food too. So it's just not gonna be worth it, I don't think, at least at our current stats. There it is, Basilisk Head, exact same drop rate as the uh, jaw on task, one in 1,000. You hate to see it. There it is, 82 range, another full level from the big old Basilisks. And with that, that's going to be 81 Slayer, getting all kinds of levels here at these Basilisk Knights. All right, this uh, this isn't really funny anymore. I could deal with it the first time, but this is, uh, this is too much. At least we got a prayer level from these two. All right, so I'm pretty sure memory serves. Just go ahead and do... Oh, just to get both of them at one time? It does. That's gonna be 72 prayer. All right, I'm pretty sure memory serves. Just go ahead and do... Oh, just to get both of them at one time, it does. That's gonna be 72 prayer. This is maybe the most embarrassed I've ever been in my life. I wiped here. Here's my, my stack. I wiped and I didn't have a looting bag, so Literally all I have left is th th what's in this pile right here. It's because I forgot to have my stupid mirror shield on. And I mean, there's 
it's my fault at the end of the day. That's, I mean, that's just how it is. Uh, I came came back from doing a clue that I had just finished that clip where I put the, uh, traded the Bastos heads in for prayer XP and then I came back, I had my demo fire on me because I was going around and I just forgot to put the mirror shield on. I actually made it out, I was running away, but then uh, I had, uh, I couldn't teleport out because you lose your magic level when teleport house does, because uh, like, it lowers your stats without the mirror shield, it doesn't just do damage to you. And uh, it just hit, it hit me like four times before I realized, before I, you know, panic ran away or tried to panic teleport. And uh, I, I didn't have any, any option available. I'd been drained super low at that point and, and died. So this is everything I have to my name right now. Arnold doesn't have anything for me. I just got all this. I, just, I couldn't find anything recently of all the stuff I lost. I mean, mainly I know I thought of the cudgel I lost, which absolutely sucks. The defender, which we can get back, but it's still annoying to have to do. Uh, we lost my crystal armor seed, which again, I was probably stupid to be holding on to that for so long. Uh, we lost, oh God, f oh, I, I just thought of Arams and Darox. Oh, that or just the Darox top. I mean, we need to go back to Barrows anyway, but that was super, super unfortunate. Um, all of my herbs, all my potion stacks. Thankfully, we kept prayer pots, which are the ones that are actually useful to us, but... So yeah, I didn't want to end on a terrible note like this. I was just hoping to end that that Basilisk task, maybe get the jaw, and then just call it there since we got 81 Slayer. But we're going to end it now. My plan for next episode was to get to 82 Construction and 73 Herb Lore so we could get quite a few POH upgrades, um, which that can't... I mean, they, the Construction we could still get, but the Herb Lore isn't... If we're not going to be able to do that anytime soon without any seeds or herbs. So uh, that plan is kind of gone. But uh, I don't have some big speech. I'm not going to try and like say that this was like, you know, like, oh, I'm glad, I'm not going to say I'm glad this happened. I'm not. It sucks. It's awful. But uh, I'm going to try and look at the positives. I, I had for a long time just knew that my inventory or the you know, extended inventory, all my items were too much. There was too much clutter. I was holding them to too many untradeables, just being like, oh, I'll eventually get rid of them. And I was having, the reason I didn't have my looting bag is I was like, oh, I didn't want to, like, you know, do all that work just to get, like, three extra things. And I'd still be, I would have risked a bunch more things in there. But uh, I think this is a good learning experience for me. I'm going to learn to just definitely always have a looting bag on me now. I mean, this is everything I have, so I can very easily keep it in my inventory. But uh, thankfully, with the levels, we, I mean, we have the quest cape, so if we had lost money, we've got gauntlet for money still, if we ever need that. Um, I've got built the fishing level for minnows, so we can just go get sharks back any time. That's not a huge deal. Like honestly, it's just you know time we lost. We like it would been it would have been terrible to lose the uh, the Slayer helmet would have sucked. Uh, Tome of Fire would have been pretty bad. Um, the the rune stack certainly my money wouldn't have. I mean money would have been kind of bad. Oh, we lost all my bloods and deaths. That's a huge thing. And I'd been so glad that I had so many of those holding on to for whenever we finally started using them. But, uh, yeah, so I don't, I honestly don't know what next episode is, what my goals are going to be now. Um, I'm obviously going to have a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. I don't, like, I can't even really work towards, like, getting back to a point where I was. Because, honestly, I just, like, like, I, there's nothing I could work for. I was just kind of, like, I just lost what I had been collecting since the start of my account. So, I mean, the general goals are still the same. Just keep working on Slayer till we can get the whip and I guess just start building up uh, herbs, like seeds and farming levels and just kind of keep keep the things going. But uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna do it for now. I, um, not at all how how I wanted this to go, but hey, maybe it'll be it'll be nicer to almost start from scratch and uh, be able to have you know progress of it all. So thank you all so much for watching. If any of you stuck it out till the end, I I, I thank you for it, and I hope you'll you'll stick with me on the start of this new journey that I uh, forced myself into by my own stupidity. <laughs>